Well, here it is, August the 18th, 2014, and it is behind us, except for another hour left to trade the E-mini. Uh, we came in this morning liking the E-mini, um, had a beautiful retest failure set up right here. We wanted to buy 59s to 61s, and the low was uh, 61 and a half, 61 and a quarter. Uh, the market subsequently traded up to 69. We had a sell at 69 to 71, and the high is 69 to 71. So we really, really caught this market about as well as you could have. Uh, you had to pay up to get in. You were long off of our methodology and our setup at uh, 62 uh, and a half, 62.15. Uh, but it produced a great trade. Uh, not a lot of action today. I mean, 62 to 69. Is, uh, seven plus points, uh, we find that on pretty quiet days. But we had everything going for us. We had buying. We had net cumulative buying by the 50 lot trader. We had our setup. I mean, it just worked, folks. Um, and it produced a nice winning trade for those that took it. So. Uh, we're going to close this. We're going to assume we close it at 67 right now. We definitely are dealing with a P, uh, and uh, we'll be looking to buy it tomorrow. Uh, and the um, uh, without any new news overnight to see if we can't push this thing back up to uh, 1975. Okay, what does the structure look like? What are we basing our buys on? We look at our F1 screen. We've got volume moving up through the distributions, and we got volume high in this particular distribution. So we're getting new buying. We have capital flowing into the market, whether you believe it or not. I mean, if you're a fundamentalist, it's hard to believe, but that doesn't mean that it's not happening. And since March of 2009, Fed support for the market, i.e., being able to borrow it a quarter of a percent interest, and then flip that money into buying other securities is what has been supporting the market. And interest rates are still at a quarter of a percent. And if you've got a lot of money in your hands as a money manager, it's got to go someplace. So this market, uh, for reasons that escape fundamentalists, uh, is still pretty strong. The trading strategies that have made you money since March of 2009 continue to make money. So this screen says find a place to buy it. Now let's see if this is in con if the uh, F2 screen is congruent, which says the same thing, and it does. It gives us a much stronger trade, and you can see we're dealing with a P. So this says find a place to buy it, and the breakout and the retest that breakout came in the 6450 area. So our first buy um, is going to be in the 65 to 64 area. Assuming the market doesn't fall out of bed, assuming that it does close at 67, and a lot can happen in the last half hour trading in this contract, and our second buy will come at 60.62. Now, the easiest trade to see is right here. This is resistance. This is going to be sell failure uh, to take out uh, 69.71. And that's the way we'll call it for the E-mini for tomorrow's trading on the 19th. OK, the note, we came in wanting to be short today. And uh, we thought the market might sell a little bit. <laughs> Uh, we thought it would sell a little bit more than it actually did. Uh, so it was really, really, really quiet trading. Um, we came in wanting to sell 15s to 19s. And um, the high was 15 and a half. We wanted to buy the 1 to 5 area. We subsequently moved it up to 5 to 9. The low was 10. So we have an inside day. And that usually means trading range. 
not much going on. Don't have a lot in the way of news tomorrow to uh, get the market wound up one way or the other either. Looking at the uh, F2 screen, we definitely are dealing with a B. Uh, the market is pointed lower. And uh, my guess is we got a pretty fair chance to get down and you know, retest the 4 to 8 area anyway. So we have a B pattern. Where can we be a seller? So the last rotate up was 13 and a half. So selling failure to take out this uh, 13 and a half, 16 area uh, is the trade that I see. And because it's a B, we're going to open it up a little bit. Uh, we'll try to buy our um, one to five once again, but it may take a nine to get in. It's pretty quiet. Um, the Problem, uh, we got uh, in Ferguson, Missouri, we have outside agitators from Oakland, California, in the form of the new Black Panthers. We have the Communist Party and Jesse Jackson from Chicago. We have uh, Al Sharpton from New York City um, that have really kind of taken control of the situation in Ferguson. And, you know, once again, when they, uh, this whole thing is cleaned up, uh, the uh, citizens of Ferguson will pay the price and decrease property values, hard to sell their homes, uh, actual uh, physical damage. And these agitators and these uh, race baiters will move on to the next uh, riot and keep the money flowing to them for agitating, keeping things stirred up. It's an industry. They make a lot of money. It's not in these people's best interest to uh, calm things down. It's in their best interest to keep things stirred up and people angry at each other. Um, it's the base of their power. It's the base of their income or the basis for their income. And those are the days that we live in right now. Uh, it's, not, it's not pretty. Okay, uh, definitely B, definitely selling. We've got volume and a little, a little volume here at 31, right at the buck. So, 1s to 29s will be buy one. And then uh, 21 to 25 will be buy two. Last rotate up was 10. Then the G period high of 14, so... Then L was 7, so selling 7s to 11, we sell 1, based on the E-mini closing at uh, 67, give or take, and sell 2 will be 15 to 19. Yeah, uh, having lived through this and seen this before, um, this is very reminiscent of the late 60s, uh, the civil disobedience, and, the, uh, and back then there were more people that would... Um, uh, stand up to the law. And he would stand up for the law, not to it. And right now we have less people willing to do that. So it, it's um, we do live in interesting times and it'll make for good trading for those that know how to play the news. And we do. Don't want to profit at somebody else's expense, but as a trader, our utility or function is providing liquidity uh, to the markets when other people are not willing to do so. Okay, gold held in pretty well, so we got pretty good buying. We've had a couple of tests below 95 or against 95. This high volume number at 94 held. Uh, so we're at 1300, so our first buy is 95, 97. Now one large central bank intervention can change things, but uh, we live with that. Now these central bank interventions tend to come in the opening of Japan, opening of London, or the opening of our markets. And um, we'll make buy two out of good stops below 90. Um, on the sell side, we rejected prices above 1300. We're there right now. We'll rotate up, so we'll make three to five, sell one. Pick up this area right here. And then we'll make um, eight to ten, sell two.
And that's it for gold. Thank you, Henry, so much for your doing your work. Henry's a watchdog, fancies himself as such. Okay, looking at we're going to roll to the October tomorrow. Um, and it probably things aren't probably going to change all that much. Um, the September contract rolls off on Wednesday. Um, so I, I don't think anything's a lot different than where it is when we traded it today. We had a 95.75 to 96 buy. We had hoped to sell the box, so we'll make 96.75. Sell one, just like we had it this morning. And then a quarter to 50. It took a long time to get there, like K period this afternoon. Sell two, and we had we, we got our buy right off the off the opening. So uh, we did a pretty, fair to middling job in crude. And 25 to 50 for buy two. Uh, the stories out of Iraq are maybe uh, they haven't retaken the dam at Mosul. Uh, the Mosul dam is a dam that is subject to um, erosion and catastrophic failure unless highly maintained. And nobody's maintaining that dam right now. Um, I don't think it has been retaken, even though Baghdad Bob came in this morning and said that it had, and they put the news out over the weekend. So uh, these government spokesmen, whoever they may be, want you to believe what they tell you, whether it's true or not. And that makes social media a hell of a lot more important than it used to be. I mean, with everybody with a cell phone and a camera right now, Twitter and Facebook and um, those sources are becoming more reliable than others. OK, stops below 50, I think, is where we're going to go. So we'll make buy one 40 to 50. I, I really don't like the buy side in this contract. And then 20 to 30 for buy two. I just think it's a sell. Want to get short to see if we can take out support. And if we can't take out support, then we cover. Uh, on the sell side, we've got 75 to 85 for sell one. And then 95 to 05 for sell two. Uh, tomorrow's news, CPI, I don't want to pay any attention to that. Housing starts at 964, permits at a million. Those numbers have been coming in below forecast, so that might be the uh, support for the euro tomorrow. So stops below 50, I think, is the play in the euro tomorrow. OK, that's all I have. Um, I'll be getting the uh, rest of the stuff up uh, this afternoon. I will see you bright and early in the AM, 6.45 Central Time. Until then, you all have a great evening. And we'll see you bright and early in the morning. <laughs>